Why are you running and panting like a fowl is about to lay eggs? Who is after you? No one. Bragoma, please come and help me. My brother is dying. I woke up this morning only to find things coming out from his mouth. I don't want to lose him, please. Where is he? He's at home. Let's go. This morning, only to notice a heat on my chest, and, and that was it. Heat on your chest? Yes. Making it. Did you have a fight with somebody that threatened to deal with you? No. I can't remember fighting with anyone. Are you sure? Of course. My sister can testify to it. Rogoma, you should know that we are not troublesome people. Wait a second. Kenny. Kenny. Your uncle is responsible for what happened to you. He is evil. My uncle? Yes. But I don't want you to confront him. Don't say a word to him. I'll handle it. How do you tend to handle it? You just said he's a wicked man. The gods will always protect their own. Don't worry. Just relax. I can help. I have been in the house with my brother. I have been in the house with my brother. You have grown to challenge me. Inverted an ant hail. You must dance the music you play. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. If we go to the house, you will be able to. Okay, Been. I was looking everywhere for you. Ma, I'm sorry I left without telling you. Ekene was in need of help. help. Really? Yes. What happened to him? He was under attack by the uncle. They had an exchange of words over a piece of land and the uncle tried to kill him. But thanks to the gods, everything is fine. Okay. Oh, thank the gods. Oh, I was looking everywhere for you. Come over here soon. It's all right. You worry too much. Why would I? <laughs> um, your food isn't that hot. Go in there and take your food and eat, okay? okay. Nothing will happen to you, my son. <laughs> Go in. So 
is you. You stop a canal from dying. Next time you come in between me and my plant, you shall feel my rod. You may be evil, but mind you, darkness can never overshadow light. Ekene is not an animal to be paralyzed by your stupid powers. How dare you insult me? How dare you insult me? you go. But remember, darkness can never overshadow light. Ajongwa. Kakadokwa. Why did you confront my uncle? You advised me to lay low that I shouldn't confront him. Yet you did. Why? Ekene, just calm down. It's not like I confronted your uncle. I met him on my way. And he was talking rubbish. I had to put him in his place. Try and understand. But that wasn't what you said. I know, but... You... Hey! Guma? Are you okay? Uh, I heard what happened. In fact, the news is everywhere. Hope you're not hot. Please just calm down. As you can see, I am fine. Before you came, I was telling Nikini now. I did not confront his uncle. He, he, he tried to be funny and I just positioned him where he belonged. And that's it. Please just relax. I am fine. And let me make this clear. That man cannot do anything to me. I know he's evil. You can't possibly say that. Nikini, I am fine. Honestly, you, you just have to stay away from him. Honestly. Sometimes you surprise me. Why on earth did you do that? My princess, I got the news about what you did to those maidies. Why do you have to do that? Do not provoke me, Fetchu. Get your facts right before coming to me. I am the princess of Oziza Kingdom. When I walk, the air stops. But she greeted you. Oh, shut up! My princess! Take it easy. And what are you fools doing here? Get out! What is going on? You are the pride of this land. Still. If they leave her, she will slap me. This is getting out of hand. I told you! Hey, okay. Uh, where are you going? I'm leaving. You can stay back. 
These people cannot live only me. My pri <laughs> wait for me. Let me. I mean, I don't understand. What is keeping them? They were supposed to be here by now. Well, the thing there is that I cannot can make it anymore. He has gone to supply farm once. Really? Yeah. I will deal with his case later. So what of Goma? Has he gone to heal someone too? I don't know about that. So why not you go to his house and find out? You have a point there. Sure. Let us go. Mama, what is the problem? You will not eat. You will not even talk to me. Why are you doing this to me now? When you know I cannot stay if you don't, if you don't say a word to me. You would have thought about that before entering into a mortal combat with that evil man. Combat? Ah, who is feeding you with all these lies? I didn't enter into any fight with anybody. Come on. You are from the gods and you know it. You were sent into my life to wipe away my tears. But here you are, in turn, bringing tears to my eyes. You have forgotten that you are the only teeth in the mouth of a mother. Eh? What would have happened if he had hurt you? Mama, nothing. You did not give a thought to what would become of me. Mama, nothing will happen to me. Like you said, I am from the gods. And the gods protect their own. Please, it's alright. Okay, fine. I promise you, from today, I will not enter into any fight with anybody. Hmm? Trust me. Good afternoon, Mama. Greetings, Goma. Greetings. Goma. Why is Mama not answering her greetings? What happened? She's angry. At you, I guess. Because I know you must have disappointed her. Uzoma, watch what you say. Um, Goma, we came in respect of Mazi Yoko's farm, which you all agreed to work on today, but it's like, oh, it is cancelled because no one cares. But Goma, I want you to settle your differences with your mother. She is more important. Mama, we are leaving. Nina, let's go. Mama, free yourself. Okay, I promise. You just have to promise me. I promise. I will not get into any fight with anybody. I promise. Open the food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Long live your highness. Who asked you to sit? Son! Son! Long live to you. Don't ever sit in my palace when I have not asked you to sit. You may sit. Well, I call this meeting because I want to intimate you of something that was brought to my notice. The Prince of Enuibo summoned courage to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. <laughs> what a brave young man. That, that's a good news, Your Majesty. May the gods be praised. But, uh, Your Highness. Your Highness, every, every citizen of this kingdom knows it very well. That the Prince of Enugu has been in love with my daughter. They've been engaged. It's not secret. So how come he suddenly changes his mind to, to, to marrying the princess? Oh no, keep quiet. What does your daughter know about love? 
is she royalty? The two are for royal homes. And royalty goes for royalty. How dare you challenge me? How dare you insult me in this palace? You dead? Treat me that way again, I will break your neck. Oh no. Calm down. The gods know the best. But your highness, does the princess know of this? Uh, your highness, the princess has the right to know and equally make her choice. Well, I will break the news to her. I am not the prince of Enrico. So I cannot make the choice for him. When he comes, he will make his choice. This be why? Why would the king do a thing like this to me? Why? I, Ogene Ozisa, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. So the king still has the mind after all we pass through together. He still has the mind to treat me like this, to betray me. No, it is never going to happen except I am dead. Okay, no, Ziza. What is bothering you? How was the meeting? The king has given Naya Bife out in marriage. That is good news, father. <laughs> Finally, the arrogant princess is getting married. Is that why you're bothering yourself, father? You should be bothered about that man that will spend the rest of his life with that wicked princess. Father, if I may ask, who is that unlucky man? You are Prince. Prince Osai. Understand. And that is my pain. <laughs> I must pray. <laughs> 
everything under control. I must bring everything under control. Yes, we come to think of it. Why will the king make such declaration? What, why? Gla what declaration? Did the king say something bad? He only told us the intention of the young man to his daughter. Mm. But he should have said no. Knowing that the, uh, uh, the young man is engaged to know his daughter. Well, uh, uh, there's no cause for alarm. The princess in question mm. is not even aware of it. There's every tendency that uh, she may decline the offer. Oh, oh. Why would she do that? They are both royalties. Besides, the prince of Elibu kingdom is a handsome young man. Hmm? No one rejects honey when giving to them. Uh, 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 let the gods decide. Let's go. Let's go. No one decide. Abu no give one. Egadu. Oya keti elu be na lo. and tell me you never made such move. Tell me it's all rumors, my prince. Please tell me it's all lies. Speak to me. My dear, things like this cannot be rumor. It's true. What is true? Everything you heard is true that I'm about getting married to the princess. So it's true. It's true that you came to my land, past my house, and went to the palace to propose to the princess. My prince, you told me you loved me. You promised me it's going to be me. Have you forgotten the things you said to me? How you came to my house? <coughs> my prince, this is not fair. This is not fair. Everything we shared gone just like that. This is not fair. Ufuma, I love you. I truly do. But you're no royalty. And my father, the king, has refused me to get married from someone that is not from a royal home. And as you can see, I am the prince, the heir apparent to my father's throne. I'm, I'm sorry, my dear, please. I'm sorry. You look me in the eyes and tell me that I am not royalty. You look straight to my face. And say to me that I am not royalty. What about our love? What about everything that we shared? What about what your heart truly wants? I am not royalty. I know I am not. But I am Ufuma. 
the daughter of the lion. But you are not a princess. You are not. I am Ofuma, the daughter of the lion, the Ogene of Oziza land. That is who I am. Ofuma, you are not a princess. Please, I am so sorry. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, my dear, please. Ufuma! Ufuma! What are you looking at? I just want to tell you that I am sorry for my reactions at your place the last time. I was just desperate. So I understand. I equally failed you. I mean, we agreed that we're supposed to farm in your mother's farm. We agreed that we're supposed to work in your mother's farm and I disappointed you. So it's only normal that you will feel that way. If I am in the same position, I will do the same. But I also want to let you know that it was not intentional. I know. I know. It's fine. See, yourself, Nena, Ikene, the three of you are my friends. You people are like family to me. So I should be able to know when things go wrong. It's alright. It is the situation that brought out that reaction. It's fine. Thank you so much, Goma. Thank you. Um, so, how is Mama? I hope she is now at peace with you. Ah, Mama is fine. You see, she was only carrying out our responsibility as a mother. Oh. Yes, but we're fine. Okay. Uh, um, so, I will be on my way back okay. home. All right. Okay. Take care of yourself. Way, father no way this is unacceptable why did he come to you first he should have made his intentions known to me oh my daughter he came to me out of respect he wanted me to know first if you have to come to a strong man's house you either take permission or you bind him he had courage he came sick well maybe he, he should be prepared to marry you. Or should I say, you should be prepared to marry him since you accepted his offer. Ah! Watch your tongue, young woman. Father, you watch your actions. You can accept every imbecile that walks into this compound to ask for my hand in marriage. Princess I is a kind and noble man. He is the heir to the throne of a new Igbo kingdom. He will make a good husband and a good king. Father, I don't care if he is the knight or shining armor of his kingdom. As a matter of fact, I am not interested. Dara! Come again! Come back here! How dare you walk out on your father? <laughs> Just like your father. You should have been a man. <laughs> she should have been a man. <laughs>
Not to touch his axe. Talk more of breaking firewood. What is wrong with my breaking the firewood? And besides, there was no firewood for me to use in cooking food for you. Even at that, Mama. Please, don't do it again. And any time you need firewood and there's no firewood in this house, wait for me to come. It's okay, my son. It's okay. I've heard you. How was your day? Were you able to save the man that was bitten by a snake? Yes, yes. Uh, although the poison went so deep. Really? Yes, but thank to the gods. He's now very okay. <gasps> Thanks to the gods too. <laughs> I thank the gods for using you, my son, in healing so many people in this kingdom. May the gods be praised. May the gods be praised. <laughs> uh, let me take some of the firewood I'll to start the fire. Now. Yes. Or I'll bring the boss Ah, okay. Good evening. Every child. Wait, Uncle. Why will you call me an evil child? Why? What, what, what's the meaning of that? Who is your uncle? If you ever hear that from me again, I will send wolves to eat your life. What? Uncle, what is going on with you? Why are you calling me names? Why wouldn't I call you names? A bastard like you should wake up any name given to you. I've respected you enough. Please don't try this thing again. Don't try it. What will you do? And which part you not troll it? That you're not a bad that you're a bastard. Or the fact that you and your worthless mother are at cast. Hey! Enough. You want to hit me? Go ahead and do it. You wash me. May feed their body to the vultures. Vultures. Listen. Am I a bastard or an outcast? No! You are not! You are Goma, my son! Where did he get those words from? But I met that evil man on my way home. That evil man that calls himself Ekene's uncle. And he gave me the bitter truth of my life. He called me so many names. So now tell me the truth. Am I a bastard? Goma, you are not a bastard! I will never be! I am your mother! I give back to you! And I've told you. Your father died while I still have you in my womb. I've told you severally to keep away from that evil man. Nothing good comes from him. He, he will only make your life a living hell. Stay away from him. Nothing good comes from him. You're my son. I guess you've come to say yes to me. Now listen to me, Imbasil. I am not in connection with that nonsense you came to do at the palace earlier today. If you need a bride, go to the slave market and make your choice. My princess, how dare you talk to me in that tone? Same way you walked into my father's compound to ask for his hand in marriage and not mine. Because if you were man enough, you should have walked up to me and not my father. I'm sorry, my princess. Please forgive me. I... I only came to your father to seek his approval in marrying you. Uh, not to know. Uh, please, I'm sorry if I overstepped my boundary. Forgive me. My princess. Please. Will you marry me? How to? Ah. My princess. You slap me? Slap you over? and over again if this ever happens. Shh. 
my princess. Our dear friend, there is always fire on the mountain. Who knows who she has slapped this time? How did you know she has slapped somebody? You should know better. With our dear princess, slapping has become her hobby. Mm. And she's not even respond to our greetings. She did not even notice us. Such arrogancy. <laughs> Please, let's go and fetch some I water. I just don't want to spoil my mood. Let's go. The anger was just too much. She thought she has slapped somebody. Adogene. Why are you still crying? I told you, your tears are so precious to your father. And no man, no man watch your tears. Listen. Listen to the words of your father. Listen to me. Prince Osai is not the only man on earth. Yes. When do I go to from there, father? It's okay. The people will laugh at me. They will mock me, father. Listen to me. I am your father. I am your father. What I can see lying there in my bed, you can never see even when you climb the Irogo tree. Now listen. You are my own princess. You are very valuable. Very, very valuable. There are a lot of men there for you. When one door closes, I promise you, more other doors will open for you. If the prince says you are no longer good for him, there is no problem. Let him go. No, father. Let him marry the princess. But I bet you, he will live to regret his actions. Have you heard me? And I love you. I love you so much. I don't even know if I can live without him. I don't know. Daughter of Eugene. Whatever 
my daughter once must come to her. Sinkanyamu! Oh, Munga! Bu Ogene, Ozeza! Gamshirikwa, yeah! Ungoya, de! My dear. Yes, my prince. I want to tell you something. I'm listening. See, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Yes. And I love you very much. Since I, I can't even sleep. I keep thinking about you. My friends, I I love you very, very much too. You do? Yes, my prince. Oh, you gladden the heart of a prince. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you too. <clears throat> Ufuma. Yes, my prince. One more thing. Okay. Look into my eyes. Look at me. Will you marry me? Yes. I want you to be the mother of my unborn children. I want to make you the queen of my kingdom. Please say yes. My, my, my prince. Hmm. Yes. Oh. I will marry you. You will? Yes, my Oh, prince. thanks to the gods. My dear, you've gladdened the heart of a prince. <laughs> you've gladdened my heart too. Are you happy? Oh, yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> Let's drink to our love. Okay? Um, yes, my dear. I'll be coming to see your father to break the news to him. Yeah. Uh, my prince, mm -hmm. my father, Ogene, will be very pleased to welcome you. Of course, I know he will. <sighs> Thank you. Are you happy now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Can you ever believe it? That mm -hmm. even at this my age, mm -hmm. I still climb up the top of the palm tree. Are you serious? And tap wine. <laughs> as old as you are. Yes. <laughs> eh? You know, I got in line. I got in car. The woman goes in This is pure akoro. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I yes. can see that. So, how uh, uh, have you tested it? Mm. <laughs> okay, then, <no>, sir. <laughs> Could you imagine mm. that for a long time I've not tested a drink like this? Just imagine. Seriously. And it is because you don't have such a person over there. <laughs> there you go. I'm again. telling you. <laughs> That's good. You're welcome. Well, um, okay, no, no, sister. Um, I thank you so much for your welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Um, I've come in respect of your daughter. Yes, I, I came to inform you and to seek your permission. To marry your daughter, I want to make her my wife. That's why I'm here. Hmm. Well, I have mixed feelings. 
Bwana, I am happy for your coming. Thank you so much. The second is, I am still in doubt what my daughter would say. But at any rate, I am not the one to speak for her. Of course. So I have to invite her to speak for herself. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Ufuma! Ufuma! Father! Come on! Oh, she's close by. <laughs> well, um... Adogene? Yes, Father. Adogene? Yes, Father. You're welcome. I know you might know this man. Yes, Father. This is the Prince of Enribo. Well, um... <clears throat> I know you might know him because you young men and women of these days <laughs> the way you go we don't know but I believe you might have met him one time or the other so he has come to seek for my permission to take you for a while Speak. I, I love him very much, Father. So I say yes. I said it. I said it. Perhaps you have even all uh, you have even agreed in my absence before now. But all is good. That's good. Adogene. Father. From your heart. Yes, Father. From my heart. Prince. Okay, this is a good step taken wisely. Thank you. It's a good step. Thank you. Because I, 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 I'm telling you the truth. When a young man outgrows his youth, people will begin to ask you, Who is your wife? <laughs> and many will ask, How are your children? <laughs> so it is the right time. Thank you so much. Yeah, you are welcome. Thank you. Well, um, my daughter has affirmed to your request. And since both of you have agreed to marry, okay. I don't think I have any or uh, any anything to alter. Can't bring a change. Mm -hmm. Rather, my position, I am giving you my blessings. It shall be well with you. You say my daughter. <laughs> it shall be well with you. Thank you, Father. Okay, hmm? I thank you so much. Thank you very much. You've made me a happy man. Thank you. You've made me, the prince, a happy man. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm I will happy. have to go. I will leave to inform my people. Then we'll fix a date for the marriage rite and we'll come back for her. Oh, wonderful. Yes. You are going to fix a date for the marriage? For the one carrying or perhaps everything Everything. Together. Everything. Trust the prince. <laughs> Let us know on time. It's okay. Don't take me it's on okay. away. It's okay. Greet your father for I you. will. Again, I, know, mm -hmm. I have to take my leave. Thank you very much. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Father. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> it's well with you, my daughter. Father, thank you. I swear you. with you. I swear with you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Father. Yes. You've made me the happiest maiden. Oh wow. <laughs> and if this happens, you I am going to be the happiest father in law. <laughs> father. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's well. Father. Yeah? I am going to prepare Niji and offer Salah for wow. you. Wow. You will know that I am your precious daughter. Oh, wonderful. Adogene, <laughs> I know what you can do. Just go and do it quickly. I can't wait. I can't wait. Father, eh? me go and Just go me. and do it. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> hey! The journey.
My father is right. No man wants my tears. Since he has made his choice, I wish him well. I will not go running to him, nor cry to him. My joy is my pride. It is high time I realized that my father is the Ogene of Ozala. And I am the daughter of Ogene of Ozala. Stop telling me to calm down. His fight is with me. So why is he taking it out on you? Why? Maybe he's just trying to get back at me. Hey, Chapel. Who does she think she is? Eh? And who are you talking about? Our princess, of course. Who does she think she is? You already said it yourself. She is the princess of this land. And so? So because she's the princess of this land, she now thinks she has the right to talk and insult people anyhow she likes. Can you imagine? Did you see the way she humiliated that prince of Enoi kingdom? It wasn't necessary. I mean, hitting him wasn't necessary. It's not. Hello, bring your voice low. Please don't tell me to bring my voice low, please. The war has ears. I don't Please, care. Calm down. I don't care. Listen, we need to talk to her. She's our friend. I don't know if you're afraid of her because me, I am not afraid of her. I will talk to her so that she will understand that what she's doing is not nice. It's not right at all for a princess. Come on, we need to talk. No, don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Talk to her or else you'll be the next person to get slapped. Ah, no, 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 no. She can't do that. She can't do she's that. She's your friend. She's your friend. <laughs> The day she will slap you, I will be, I will just be there, I will just be laughing at you. Can you imagine? You are telling me to calm down. She will slap you and slap you until you get blind. Don't worry. My princess can't do anything like that. She can't do anything like calm that. Down. It's okay, no problem. Don't talk to her, but me, I am not afraid, like I said. I will talk to her. I will, I will make sure I talk sense into her. It's, it's, it's getting out. What we are saying in earnest is that the princess should curtail the way she speaks to the people of this kingdom. She is their princess for goodness sake. She's not an animal. What? How dare you compare my daughter with a wild animal? Is right. Oh. The princess goes about slapping people, talking to them in an arrogant manner. And you know, it's not good for this kingdom. Not at all. What will people say? That the princess of Ozisa Kingdom was supposed to live an exemplary life is the one tormenting the kingdom okay, with a rude and arrogant life. <laughs> Ain't as much as you 
have made your points clear. You do not have the authority to shred the image of my daughter. Before me! In this palace. I will speak to her. When I was a boy, my father used to tell me that, that the greatest gift and respect you can give to yourself is character. You must be of good character. I don't understand you, father. My daughter, you are a princess of this land and you must conduct yourself as a princess. You have to mind the way you speak with people. You have to talk to them politely. Be a mother to everyone in this kingdom. Father, I am lost. I still don't know what you are talking about. Well, what I am trying to tell you is that the way you treat your subjects matters a lot. Speak with them politely. Treat them nicely so that you can have the respect of a princess. Well, Father, if they continue to disrespect me, I cannot guarantee you that. You cannot continue to slap your subjects. Come back here. Excuse me. She's a lioness like me. But this is unbecoming. Yes, I am off to Ikene's place. I'll be going hunting from there. But I have finished cooking and served your food. At least eat something before you leave the house. Mama, right now I am not hungry. The food can wait. When I return, I will eat. It's okay. Ikene is waiting for me already. Ah, it's okay. So please take care of yourself and stay out of trouble. Sure, I will. What did I say? Take care of yourself and stay away from trouble. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hi, Mama. going this early morning. We are on our way to Kenneth's house. Yes, I had a very bad dream last night. I have this feeling that a Kene household is in trouble. Are you serious? Yes. Ah. Ah. Well, I was actually on my way. Oh, then let's go. Ufuma. Ufuma. 
my own daughter. Adogene, the, the daughter of a lion. Oh no, you are disappointing me. You are disappointing me. Why are you still crying? Why? Tell me. Why are you still crying? When your father has told you to stop crying, to wipe away your tears. Eh? And you are still shedding tears. When I have told you that no man wants your tears, the prince is yours. Yes, the prince is yours. Not at all, Ogene of Ozisa. The prince is not my name anymore. Because the princess has taken over. It is because you are in dark. The princess turned his request down. Yes. She turned the offer down and even went ahead to slap him. He slapped the hell out of him. But why, father? And that is the most reason why you should wipe your tears away. I've told you, no one is taking Prince away from you. You think that the gods are fools or that they are sleeping. They are awake. The prince is yours. I need to see him. What? Sit down here. Sit down. Why would you go to visit a man that is being slapped by a woman? Why? A man who claimed to be the prince, but being slapped by a maiden not do anything. You are not going anywhere. Show your pride for once. Show your pride. He must come here. He must walk to this place. I will kill you. <laughs> just This morning, and I noticed she's been acting funny. She's been breaking pots and trying to run away. What's <laughs> wrong? I had a bad dream. <laughs> Why did you call any of us over? Because I'm not supposed to leave her all alone. She's going to run away. Wait. Don't touch me! That's what she's been doing. Don't touch me! You don't belong here. <laughs> You're a bastard. <laughs> An outcast. <laughs> outcast. Uh. <laughs> Please. Please. Don't take what she said to heart. She's obvious. She's, she's sick. So, so, what do we do? Be quiet. <laughs> What's your problem? Okay. Okay. Ah, if you. Okay. Easy. Easy. Easy.
What is it? What happened? Who am I? I don't understand. Well, tell me the truth. I know I've asked you this question before. Am I a bastard and an outcast? You are not. Just like I have told you before that you are not a bastard, neither are you an outcast. Then why am I being addressed as an outcast? My son, I gave back to you the responsible way every responsible mother does. Okay. The truth is, you are from Uziza Kingdom. Yes. And it all started. How was your day? My wife. My days has always been beautiful. But having a, a beautiful wife like you is a plus to me. My husband, you won't stop flattering me. No. Anyway, you are welcome. Thank you, my wife. Thank you. My husband, I have a good news for you. Good news? Yes. But first of all, go and keep your knife and come out and then out. Oh! You caught plantain from me? Yes, I caught plantain from that our farm. From that our farm? Yes. Thank you so much, my husband. My wife. Go and keep your knife and come, I will tell okay, you. Okay, okay. Your Majesty, King of the Greetings to your household. Greetings to you too. What brings a royal guard to my house this morning? The king wants to see you. Is everything all right? Question should be left for the king. It's okay. No problem. I don't think there's any problem. Just go. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at home here. Don't keep long. Huh? I'll be home waiting for you. <laughs> 